Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Keegan and Mads Bricks. I'm your co-host today, Mads, and I will be your tour guide on our little short day and a half trip to the city to go to one of our favorite Lego stores we've ever been to, which is the Lego store at the Water Tower Place right off of Michigan Ave in Chicago. So yeah, we're going to talk about kind of why we why we plan to do this, what, what, what our main goal in mind is, and kind of just the other little things we did while we were visiting the city. So we came in on a Thursday evening, so our first agenda was obviously dinner. We went to the Sweetwater Tavern, which was fantastic. We got to watch some of the March Madness basketball games. And then after dinner, we did a little walk around the city. We were staying in the Theater District, which is about a half a mile south of the Magnificent Mile shopping um, kind of experience, I guess you'd say, in Chicago. And it was really, really pretty to see the city at night. And as people who are not from the city, it's just it's, it's one of those things that you don't really appreciate unless you're there. Uh, so we just did a lot of walking around, checking out some different stores, kind of play our morning uh, for the next day and what we were hoping to accomplish and what we were hoping to do. Uh, we planned this trip on a Thursday night. Um, so this is Thursday and then we, all our shopping will be on Friday. It was a holiday weekend, but we also were able to avoid a lot of the crowds that we expected to see in Chicago because we went on a Friday during the day, mostly morning. So definitely recommend if you are able to do that because I know that these crowds can get really busy if you're not careful. Like I said, we stayed in the theater district. We stayed at a hotel called the Cambria. Um, which was just about a little bit east, sorry, west of uh, Grant Park in Chicago. So the next morning, of course, we got some coffee. We headed to go see The Bean, which was under construction. So that was devastating, actually. Ruined the whole entire trip because we couldn't see The Bean. Just kidding. Anyways, and we also, uh, there was a lot of construction going around on at Grant Park, um, for example, this, I've never seen this before. Uh, this is the J.B. Pritzker Pavilion. Um, honestly, I thought about going down to the stage and giving, you know, a concert, you know, just yeah, a charity concert, you know, for the huge crowd that was there, but I didn't. Um, but it was kind of just interesting to see what they've done. So I haven't been to Pride Grant Park since like 2021 or 2020. Uh, so it was really interesting to see what they've done even in the last three years. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful morning, uh, beautiful weather. Um, and then we kind of, um, you know, did a little walking around, got our steps in, uh, again, we were planning out our day, what we were hoping to accomplish. Um, and the main thing we really wanted to do, the whole point of this trip was that we could go to the Lego store so we could see what they had on the pick a brick wall. We are currently building our city and we don't even know what parts we need. So, um, we really wanted to go and see what they had. So the store opened at, uh, I want to say 10 AM. So, we were quite early, so we did have to wait in line, um, but that was not a big problem for us. Uh, it was the first thing, it was the main thing, we wanted to get it out of the way. Um, and like I said, this was the Water Tower Place uh, shopping center in uh, Chicago. So this was some of the displays they had that we got to just totally view while we were waiting in line. Um, they do have a, a capacity limit at the store, which is actually quite nice, so you're not uh, walking over people. This is one of my favorite things I've ever seen. They made this entire logo out of many figures, but the question I kept having was why do some of them have hats and some of them don't? Um, but yeah, and also if you can see like that back wall, you think it's all little plates or little uh, circles, but it's actually bricks. Like the whole thing I think is brick built rather than you'd think of um, as just being tile built. And then they had some of the really cool buildings as well, which, you know, we could talk about forever. I'm not sure exactly the names of them, um, but they, they were really cool to build. Okay, so my favorite part about going to an actual Lego store is you get to see the size and the scope of these projects. For example, this uh, was the new Batman set that they were actually building uh, prior to the store being open. So it's only about a half build, but really cool. And you, you don't really get to see some of these details um, in people's videos um, unless you actually go and see these sets in person, which obviously I'm taking videos of all the sets that I want to pick up because, you know, these are really cool. The details, you don't see them even on people's videos or on the website. Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing gang, I will be buying these sets, I promise you. Um, but I was surprised at how small they were. I expected them to be a little bit bigger. Um, also, we were checking out some different things for our city. Uh, I don't really plan on adding an airport, but that could be cool. Um, but it's really just neat to go to the actual Lego store, see these sets in person. Um, for example, the medieval sets. I don't think I was a fan until I saw them in person and saw how cool and how intricate these builds are and how cool they would look in like their own uh, different area of the city. So um, definitely, guys, go visit these stores. 
this is the Snow White Cottage, another set that I was like, well, I don't know. And then I saw it in person. I'm like, these minifigs are so cool. This is my childhood. I need this set. Um, I will spare you the details of actually, you know, telling you all about these sets because there are so many different creators on YouTube that do that. But so yeah, I'm so excited to talk about the pad wall. Who doesn't love a good pad wall? And when we went to the Lego store this time around, they had the most optimal pab wall selection. And honestly, we could have picked up $200 worth of bricks. And we didn't because uh, we had to carry it all back to the car. So l let's get back into it. So many cool, like I said, so many cool pieces on this pab wall this time around. We had some wagon wheels. We had some tile. We had some translucent tiles. We had a masonry brick. There was a bunch of different kinds of plate, different like sizes and shapes of plate. And it was just such a fantastic um, day to go to the store. Uh, we focused so hard on packing these boxes, boxes efficiently, um, but we must say boxes over cups any day of the week. We even got a compliment from one of the cashiers like, wow, you guys really got your money's worth with these boxes. And when you watch hours and hours upon Lego videos um, and watching people pack these boxes, it, it's a compliment. I think altogether we bought about, spent about $100 at the Lego store. Found this, uh, we'll talk about this later in the video, best set I've picked up in a while. And um, then we also went to stop at Giordano's on our way back home from the Lego store, which is a Chicago must when you are visiting the city. Um, and we also stopped at the Starbucks Reserve Rotisserie Roast, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> if you are a coffee snob, and I feel like a lot of Lego people are coffee snobs, like... Anyways, you need to go here. It, the smell was fantastic. We didn't even get anything, but it was just so cool because they were actively roasting and drying the beans when we stopped, and that was so neat. Um, also, I want to go back and say this because we uh, I didn't say it before. We didn't film too many videos in the Lego store because there was a lot of children and a lot of families, and we don't want people to be in the video unless, obviously, they consent to it. So I'm sorry if there wasn't enough Lego-specific content. We were at the store. We're just trying to respect everybody else's privacy to have a good time and not be in the way. Um, so obviously, it's one of our favorite stores. Please go visit it. Um, but again, remember, like people are trying to have a good time with their families, too, and don't want to have to worry about you know people doing uh, vlogs. And that was it for our day in the city. Um, I'm going to hand it over to Keegan to talk about what we picked up. So we made it back home, spent the day watching some basketball, doing some other stuff, catching up on some normal things that we did here. But you guys don't care about that. You're here to see what we picked up from the Lego store. So let's get some unboxing started here, why don't we? So we got this big old bag here. And inside we got a whole bunch of goodies. So let's start pulling out some stuff one by one. So some of this has been sorted since we've gotten home just because we wanted to know how much we actually got and wanted to make some uh, estimations for our video here. But um, So our biggest thing that we wanted to pick up while we were at the Lego store was actually from the pick-a-brick wall or the pab wall, I guess. And we got three boxes full of stuff. Um, our biggest pickup was probably these one by four masonry bricks and this was a full stack we'll show you what we did with them in a bit but um <clears throat> i'm gonna put on screen the whole excel spreadsheet of what we actually got and the number of pieces that we got and how much it would have cost us if we would have picked it up individually from the lego store online with this we paid 17.99 a box this is the first time we actually used the boxes at the Lego store, we've always used the cups. We got a handful of bunch of different stuff that we plan on using in the future. We got some rock panels. We got some different arches. We got some wheels. I don't know. This is maybe a precursor to the medieval village that I hope we will get in the future, maybe. Kind of saving it for double points. We got a bunch of different sand green one by one brick. We got a bunch of six by eight plate in white and black. That'll be used in the future as well. The biggest pickup for us, aside from the purple masonry, probably was the blue tile. Along with these one by one um, roof tile wedge plates pieces. Um, and then, I don't know, we picked up some sand green one by one tiles just because they fit in the box pretty well. We got some uh, modified like two by two with the piece cut out so they're the like little triangle things and then Mads did a really good job of 
getting this box completely full. There's a bunch of plate and tile and other types of panels and masonry bricks and uh, like 2 by 4 green brick with some plate and some more nougat masonry bricks. Um, so yeah, my biggest tip if you go to the Lego store and you have any idea for something that you want to build, get the boxes. We saved probably 75% in total. So yeah, so that was everything that we got from the Lego pick a brick wall. So let's show you some of the other stuff that we got. So we got two other things while we were at the Lego store. The first thing I got was another uh, brick head here. The Daisy brick head was $5.99, I think normally $9.99. I've been kind of looking at this for a while now. It was on sale, and I figured this will be a little fun thing to add to our Brickhead collection. I wish I would have gotten the Donald and the Pluto and Goofy and, like, the Chip and Dale and some of the other Disney ones, but I'm sure they'll come out with more in the future. But I guess for now, this one was $6, so we decided to pick that one up. I don't know if we're going to do a video on this or if we're just going to build it and show it off in the display later, or maybe you'll catch it in another video or some other thing. But we got that... The other thing that we got was actually this Lego brand store that I've never seen before. It's not even online. Like, I've never seen this before. I think I might have seen it scrolling Reddit one time, specifically with the pick-a-brick wall within this. But this is such a cool set. This, I think, was $36.99 or $39.99. I don't remember. Something like that. Um, but... We thought it was really cool. Like they have like the actual Disney castle and then the train. I don't know what this set is supposed to emulate, but it's cool. Um, there's like actual like city stuff. Oops, yeah. So there's like city stuff. There's like friends. There's um, other like Lego themed sets. There's a giant Lego logo, Lego sticker. It's kind of like a modular building. Um, oh, I think this looks pretty cool here it's got like the technic boxes it's like the actual sets like the lego ideas um oh gosh the fossils the friend sets the creator sets like it's in lego form and then they have a pick a brick wall so we uh saw this and we're like oh we got to build this so this will be coming up in a future video so we hope you enjoy that when that comes out but yeah so in total we spent about a hundred dollars most of that was the pick a brick wall stuff, but like I said, normally those parts were like close to two hundred dollars if you would have bought them individually, and we paid like fifty bucks for it. So that was pretty cool. All in all, it was a fun weekend um, in Chicago, and we uh, had a great time. Before we go, I wanted to show you what I did with the new purple masonry brick that we got. If you remember a couple videos back, Mads made a video on the Heart Lake City Kitchen. Um, and how it was closed, and we talked about enclosing the backside. So yesterday when we got home, I decided that I wasn't going to film anything. I was just going to start building and see what I could do. So on this set, we actually enclosed it for the first time. So this is our first pass at it. I know the addition on top is completely white right now. We're going to add some color and probably change out some of the pieces as we go. But I was just working in white, and I just said, hey, screw it. Let's just continue to do it continue to build so kind of have the template there but might uh, change up the color maybe match the purple or um, just add a more color to this because it's completely white but anyway so starting on this side you can see this is the back that used to be completely open we added the purple masonry brick I added these little like one by one studs with the one by well they're one by one brick uh, like snot bricks with the one by one tile on top so it gives it that little textured look and then this is kind of like considered like a corner next to the door um, maybe could have brought it out a brick maybe made that look a little bit cooler um, we added the corner just to make that like grout style kind of cool with the masonry brick and then this I really wanted to emphasize adding color and fauna and floral elements similar to the front side so that's why on the back here, we added those extra elements there. Um, on this side, we added another sidewall, and I uh, replicated those um, elements that kind of stick out there, similar to like the Jazz Club, and then also added a bunch of green floral elements on this side as well. Oops. 
one little thing this isn't able to be completely closed these stairs kind of interfere right there so there's no real good way of closing that off unless you close the wall like back here like right where this stud would be um, and we decided not to do that so i just left that open which is fine it still looks okay but that is what we did with the purple masonry brick and we still have quite a bit left we got i think in total like 156 of those pretty sure it was on the screen earlier i have to go back and look at it but we still have probably two-thirds of what we purchased but i wanted to show that off before we left because that's what we did with it that was the purpose of it but anyway thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed this style of video this vlog style please let us know in the comments. Maybe we'll do more of these in the future. And if you like the video, please leave a like. And if you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.